Oh, I am so disappointing. I am so disappointing. Hello. I would like to talk to you about a real hidden gem of horology. It is the very special Sin 1739 in steel. Gotta be honest, I didn't choose it myself though. I honestly didn't even knew the watch existed. It was one of my viewers, Mr. Yen, who actually asked this in the comments. So that's what I did. And yes, that was a very, very good choice. So let me first tell you a little bit more about this brand, Sin. So not a lot of people know about this brand. And that is a real Sin. <laughs> you got it, that's a pun, huh? Sin is a German watch company founded in 1961 in Frankfurt by Mr. Helmut Sin, a former instructor for blind flying. His goal was to make timing instruments for the skies, and a couple of his creations even made it into outer space. Mr. Sin passed away in 2018, but the company is led by diplôme ingenieur Mr. Lothar Schmidt, who's headed the company since 1994. And that is something to remember. This is a company led by engineers, not by marketeers. And this Mr. Schmidt really is a very remarkable man. So please put on your nerdy glasses because this watch is really full of quirky details. Normally Sin only makes two watches meant to last several lifetimes. And that's where this piece is just so much different. Because it's elegant and it's understated. But despite this purest German design approach, you don't get a plain basic watch. So let me point out one detail to you I didn't immediately see, but I only discovered it after wearing it for quite a while. The finishing of the dial. Because when you look at it very carefully, you'll notice it has a fine sunburst finish to it. Now this is a very sensitive touch with a very unsensitive name. Because they call it electroplated sunburst decoration. The glass is perfectly shaped and even the hands have a very elegant screwdriver-like shape. And this watch is full of those details that really give the watch their personality. I mean, look at those indices that really just seem to float. And one thing that did immediately occur to me is they left out the second hand. Now that cleans up the dial significantly as well. And the people at Sin actually really urged me to start wearing this watch before I did the review. So that's what I did and now I know why they asked me. This watch just wears incredibly comfortable. It is 39mm or 44mm look to look and that really is the perfect size. It even has a perfect thickness and lug shape. So are there any downsides? Well, to be really honest with you, I'm not very impressed by this calf leather strap or the buckle, which just seems a bit flimsy. But, you know, you can order about a million different sorts of straps online at Sin, so let's just forget about that. And I honestly think that the watch case could have had a little bit more detailing, for example, with some brushed parts, making it less shiny and adding more depth. But when you're talking about sin, it would be a real sin to... Oh, no, 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 not, not, not that pun again. Oh, I am so disappointing. I'm so disappointing. Anyway, what really struck me was the attention to detailing when you turn the watch around. Because this is really what makes a watch heart tick. See, powering this watch is the Solita SW300, which is a very interesting choice because by far the most watch companies go for the SW200. So I actually asked him why did you do this and the answer was pretty clear, it's thinner. As this SW300 is quite thin indeed and it actually does look quite nicely decorated. Still, a lot of people will say, oh, it's just an off-the-shelf movement. But is it? Not quite. They receive a movement which is partially mounted, 
The watchmaker then finished the job as well as doing the quality checks. Each and every watch is built by one watchmaker, so they don't have an assembly line. They even use a special oil called the 66228, and every movement that leaves the factory has a two year guarantee. Add it all up and you can only come to one conclusion. This is one very, very special watch with a lot of personality. But that is not as important as the real question of the day. Is this watch cock or is it cool? Frankfurt, Mr. Ian, we've got a winner here. Because this really is one hell of a hidden gem of German watchmaking. Priced at 1890 euros, this really is one very interesting piece for everyday wear. Now this is definitely not a watch for people who want to flaunt their money or lack of personality. It is actually a watch made for real watch lovers. And it combines supreme elegance with some serious intelligence. And no, it doesn't shout money. But you know what it does shout? real and honest love for watches. It shouts personality. And that is why this is an excellent choice. Period. But before you leave, are you a real lover of watches? Then come join my team. Please do like and subscribe because there's a lot more to come. Thank you and see you next time.